Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Welcome back to my channel. I'm not sure when I will be airing this video, so Happy New Year. I'm assuming it will be in the new year. Hopefully you all had some great holidays and celebrations and family get-togethers and friends, etc. I'm going to show you a project that I've been working on. Actually, I just recently finished and um, all the details for the cover I will leave to the end because it is something that I repurposed and I kind of tweaked a bit to make this um, into a little journal. Um, but I know a lot of you like to get to the meat of the video to start, so I'm going to get right to it. So this is actually a suede cover and I love how it feels. It's a nice thick um, suede, um, fabric and um, there's this little closure to it. Um, it does have an elastic um, binding because I wanted the inside to be removable. Um, and then on the front I did a little bit of layering with some vintage laces, Tim Holtz, um, a little button you can see there. And let me just show you inside. I love how you can just open it with the, um, the closure there. The, the clip, whatever it's called, <laughs> sorry you guys. Um, so I've got a little pocket here, and then I just added some random paper bits. Right now I'm into repurposing and, um, you know, kind of upcycling things. So this is sort of what came together from that. Here on the front page, I've got lots of Tim Holtz, um, some removable pieces into the little tuck spot here, and it's a nice um, thick um, cover to start. You've got some journaling space on this end here and it flips open so you can do lots of journaling there if you wanted to. Here I've done a little tuck spot in a little pocket. And I really just love the size, you guys. So again here, this is a Tim Holtz on coffee stained paper, lightly coffee stained. Um, I repurposed um, something from a tissue box here and then just made into a little journaling spot there for you to have a little hidden secret there and as you can see I've just got lots of different random bits of paper that I thought went well together here I made a little pocket again just a little tank and another little piece of repurposed um, that I added onto this piece of paper again another little secret journaling spot on this side I added a little belly band and I did um, use my die cut to make this little I guess it's a little bag or pocket, I'm not sure, with some vintage paper. And then I just added some more journaling space that you can kind of move around. This has um, a tab that I put a little fabric remnant piece there. And of course you can close this back up all together and just tuck it back in here. And there's that there. Um, here just some lace and just little fabric bits. Um, I just wanted to do something on that page there. And then added something from Tim Holtz again, just for extra journaling in this little tuck spot here. Uh, paper that I had been, um, that I dyed, I, we did a swap in one of the groups and we did um, a swap for different kinds of dyed paper. So that was a piece left over from that. Uh, music paper. I love this little quote, it says, make a wish and then throw a coin in a fountain. So I just had to add this piece of paper here because I thought it went well. This is from Janine's shop at J9 Scraps, and I just made it into a little uh, pocket in the back. Again, Tim Holtz uh, made a little tag out of that. Here we have um, a little um, lace pocket that I kind of added to Tim Holtz paper. And again, just random bits of, um, you know, journaling pieces or things you can use throughout the little journal itself. I, as you guys know, I love making minis and um, I tried different sizes and this one was really fun to do because it's um, a small journal, um, but you know, big enough for you to do um, lots of things with it. Here I just had little extra bits again and I just, I wanted to add the bling there because of the butterfly. So I added the butterfly and just little bits and pieces here for texture. Um, and again, here I made a little pocket, more journaling space in here. And this is like a little vintage little um, collage that I'm working on there. This piece was printed on fabric. I believe I got this from Marie Blondell. So she printed on fabric and backed it with coffee, sta um, coffee stain paper. So here you can see this is an elastic um, closure that I have for it and, um, or sorry, um, binding. So you can take all the pages out or put more pages in, etc. And I just wanted 
the cover to be repurposed or reused once you, you know, finish with the journaling. And then here again, a little tuck spot with more Tim Holtz. This, um, the other side of the lace pocket here. And then this is just um, extra pieces of uh, vintage paper. I got these from Darlene. Thank you, Darlene. At our meetup, she kind of had a bunch of, uh, that she shared with us. So just more writing space again. Another pocket here with another little tag. And that's another Tim Holtz paper. More um, the other side of the little writing on that. This here has another little tuck spot with just some additional ephemera pieces. If you have any questions as to where I got some things, just leave a comment below and I'll let you know um, if I know where I've received some things. That's just it flips out for extra journaling. That's the Rita flip. Here's a belly band again with just additional journaling bits and bobs here. Another little pocket with some more journaling ephemera. And then the back has another little tuck spot with a vintage playing card. And here, um, the last little tuck spot here, this is from Janine's shop at Jane and Scraps. You can add a lot more to it, of course. So, you guys, I had so much fun putting this together. Um, I'm going to show you what I got from how I put the cover together. And this is something that I got from my sister-in-law, Lisa. Hi, Lisa, if you watch the channel. Um, she, um, she got these from work and they were going to throw them out. I'm not sure what the purpose is for them um, because she says they were getting new ones for the year. And so as soon as she saw them, she said, no, no, don't throw them out. My sister-in-law can use them. And so thank you so much for saving these for me because I got so inspired to make something with them. And it is a really nice, thick, um, as I mentioned, suede. Um, I guess it, I'm not even sure what they're for, but, um, you know, they can be used for so many things. Um, I was going to cut them up and make them into something else, but I thought if I added, you know, something when I was folding it to make the little journal, then I could reuse them as little journal covers. And so that's what I did. So it is a very nice thick made um, suede uh, cover with the own closure. And I like how it's got the snap closure to it as well. Um, and um, yeah, any other details, I will leave them below. I might sell this one, so check the shop. It might be listed in the shop. Um, if you don't see it, um, just send me an email if you're interested in it. I'm just, I'm not sure if I'm letting it go or if I'm keeping it, because I just really like how it came out. Um, but again, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the share. I'm really into repurposing and, you know, reusing items, and I love that I could repurpose these, these pieces of um, suede and make them into something different. So anyways, thanks for stopping by you guys. I'm coming back with some more projects. Um, don't forget to check out the consignment shop. There's still lots of journals that you can purchase. Um, I've got something new coming up very soon to talk to you guys about as well. Um, and thank you so much for joining me. I will see you soon. Bye.